Hey everybody, it's Dan again from Slice Engineering. We're here right at the end of Rapid. The place is sort of being torn apart as we speak right now. But I wanted to do a quick video tour for you guys of the thing that we launched here at Rapid, which is our new Mako Hot End. It's designed specifically for the Bamboo Lab printers, the P1P, P1S, X1C and X1E printers. So all the P1 and X1 series machines. Uh, it's got three main things that we saw on forums and on Reddit and such where people were saying they were unhappy with sort of the stock performance or they wanted an improvement. And the first thing was speed. So uh, obviously the bamboo machines are great. They already print fast, but anytime you can save some more time, that's a great thing. So we focus on improving the throughput of the hot end. We've found a way to make a 30 to 60 percent increase in total throughput so if you've got a three hour print it's now finishing in two hours and we'll have more white papers and information about that later on down the line to start off with you can look at our promo video that launched with the hot end and you can see a little red rocket being printed three hour print with the stock and two hour print with mako so that's the first thing speed the second thing that we heard a lot of complaints about is heat brakes breaking. So obviously high acceleration machine moves around quickly, it's very dynamic, and sometimes that means that you're snapping a heat brake. And so that's unfortunate with the stock setup, you gotta pull the whole thing out, install a new hot end, and, and you sort of scrapped that unit. Uh, with the Mako, we have built in our roll cage that comes on the Mosquito hot ends and on that product line into the interior section of the heat sink on the Mako hot end. And what that allows us to do is create a very thin walled heat break similar to what we have on Mosquito. We're using our bimetallic heat break technology to reduce the instance of clogging and heat creep that occurs sometimes when you're printing with filaments, especially PLA. And it also allows us to build that roll cage in such a way that if you do have an impact to the part, or if you're just doing a lot of massive acceleration at 2Gs like the, what you see on these machines, you're not gonna snap a heat break. So this is really designed to be a long-term durable solution to where you don't have to swap pot ends with any frequency, but it's instead designed for the life of the machine. Third feature, speaking of uh, swapping hot ends, this should be the last hot end you ever swap in because the Mako comes with a new nozzle standard called FIN. FIN stands for Free and Open Source Insulated Nozzle. We've done an unprecedented collaboration with a number of other nozzle manufacturers outside of Slice. And so what we've got on display here is a collaboration with Bontech, Microswiss, and Diamondback to launch a set of nozzles called FIN, FIN nozzles with different technologies for different applications. For example, Bontech has a CHT version. Diamondback, of course, has their diamond tip version. And all these nozzles work with the Mako. They're built to this new standard and allows you to have whatever nozzle size and whatever nozzle type you want on your bamboo machine instead of being locked down to a particular nozzle size and a particular nozzle type that's already fully integrated in the stock hot end. So, Quick and easy switching of nozzles, 30 seconds to do it with a torque wrench, very simple. You just pull the boot off, unscrew the nozzle, you put a new one on, it's quick and easy. You can do it right there on the machine without unclipping any wires or taking any plates off the front of the machine. The reason it's called insulated, so obviously free and open source, so we're collaborating, we're putting the nozzle standard out there for everyone to use, but the other part of it is insulated, right? That's where the eye comes in. And what we've done is we've designed the silicone boot out of a very high quality resin that clips on directly to the nozzle. And the way it does that, it makes sure that only the very tip of the nozzle is sticking out from the boot. So that when you're blowing a lot of cooling air, for example, if you want to print a part with a really nice surface finish or using a lot of cooling air, you're not going to be cooling, overcooling the tip of the nozzle in such a way that it creates stringing or has other negative effects or can create clogs. So that's a really huge benefit of fully insulating the nozzles. So, so FIN is really the first nozzle that's been designed with thermodynamic efficiency in mind as opposed to just looking at manufacturability. The standard sort of V6 or rep wrap style nozzle that's been around forever was designed primarily to machine a lot of them really quickly. And while that's great from a cost standpoint, it really doesn't provide the best user experience. So this is really the first nozzle designed for an optimized thermal performance that also leads to a better user experience. So of course that standard is published open source. We're really excited to be working with other nozzle manufacturers to do that. 
If you are a nozzle manufacturer, please reach out. We'd love to work with you, send you the standard, and help develop more nozzles for this type of thing. In the future, more hot ends will be available with this exact nozzle type, the fin nozzles. So that's really our three things here that we saw were issues, speed, braking heat brakes, and the ability to change nozzles quickly and easily. We solved those three problems. Mako is available on our website right now for pre-order. Starts at 100 bucks for the package without any electronics where you can reuse the stuff that ships stock on your machine. Or if you don't want to mess with, you know, installing new cables and small screws, we can handle all that for you. That jumps the price up to 125 or 129 depending on which electronics package you're getting. All comes nicely packaged in a little box and plug and play ready to go. No firmware adjustments necessary. Don't even need to PID tune. Just plugs and plays with the Bamboo software natively. And that's due to a great collaboration that we have with Bamboo where they're supporting our development and giving us the green light on design parameters and, and how we can implement this in their system. So really excited to be working with Bamboo, really excited about this new Mako hot end. A bunch of them have already sold in the last couple days since we launched. So highly encourage you if you've got a Bamboo machine and you want to improve things like printing faster, reliability of the hot end and, and not breaking heat brakes and the ability to change nozzles, go ahead and get one on our website, sliceengineering.com. Thanks everybody. Hi, I'm Olaf at Pontec. We're here at Rapid TCT showing our industry leading filament extrusion systems. So, our journey started back about 10 years ago when our founder and leader, Martin, had his first printer which he couldn't get a decent print out of. So, aiming to solve that problem, he manufactured his own gears. What came out of that later was the BMG, the Bontec Mini Geared Extruder which was the first extruder to use dual drive gear extrusion and a miniaturized gearing of the motor. Later in this journey, felt we needed more grip on the filament, and so larger drive gears was born. Meet the LGX, which has 18 mm drive gears for increased filament grip, seven position index lever for setting filament tension. In this extruder, also our collaboration with Slice Engineering was born, where we can interface their hardens straight onto the extruder. So here we have the LGX shortcut with the Mosquito Harden, which interfaces directly onto the extruder, creating a very short filament path, which is a huge benefit for extruding flexible filaments. A bit later in the journey, we also found a way to miniaturize the same drive gear train into the LGX Lite, which houses the same leading filament grip in a way smaller form factor for those high systems where weight is a concern. We're also showing the CHT technology, our nozzles, which has a special internal geometry, which increases flow rates and decreases stress in the filament path laid down. So we've been coming to Rapid TCT for years and we really enjoy the experience of being here and all the opportunities given to collaborate and meet and talk to other people in the same space. It really opens up the door for having really good, like short informal meetings, which leads to a lot of uh, yeah, increased contact surface. It's really great being here. I'm John Olaf, president of Lulzbot 3D Printers uh, up in Fargo, North Dakota. We're here at the 2024 Rapid TCT event, and I'll tell you a little bit about our TAS Pro XT. Yeah. So this platform is a uh, two foot tall build volume. Typically, people that are using it are trying to make stuff in one piece. They don't like to glue together their different 3D prints. Uh, we've got a Magnum Plus uh, hot end on here from Slice, and the LGX Pro extruder from Bontech. This is letting us make some pretty Pretty phenomenal uh, vase mode prints at this event. We just wanted to show some really big layers. The nozzle itself is a 2.4 millimeter. Now that's a pretty extreme side of things, and the layers themselves are 1.8 millimeters. So uh, we really enjoy the ability to put down plastic fast. 
Each of these are, are coming out in about seven, eight hours. So just a nice way to fill some volume. The Taz Pro platform itself, we've been really happy with. At this point, we've got really nice touch screens, a 32-bit board. The Megbeds make stuff really easy to remove prints. Our runout sensors uh, not only do a filament runout, but they also check for filament stripping or jams. So if something was to happen and you were right next to the printer, it's going to catch that and do just great there. Other than that, uh, we build a really strong industrial builds with uh, IGIS cable chains and everything on that side of things. The TAS platform's really popular. We've enjoyed building that. Right now, Wolfsbot makes nine different models of printer, uh, generally ranging between a thousand and five thousand bucks. So it's it's pretty affordable uh, for something that uh, you're going to have full warranty, service, parts, everything that you need to just keep going. On average, customers get around uh, 15,000 to 20,000 print hours. Five years of heavy use is very common for our platforms. So another nice thing about the Lulzbot is we have a swappable tool head platform. This allows us to put a lot of different hardware configurations on the machine depending on the purpose. Today, we've got an asteroid tool head, again, with a 2.4 millimeter nozzle. But most of the time, we put our meteor heads on. Uh, this has a 0.5 nozzle. It's a much, much more useful all around uh, size. And we'll make those tool heads in both 2.85 millimeter filament and 175. So if you've got uh, any filament around with a lulz bud, you don't have to say, oh man, is it one diameter or the other? With one of our platforms, you just, you get the tool head that you need. We also do dual extrusion, which is really nice for those uh, multi-material prints. Uh, we've taken a good approach to that by doing a linear actuation. So the tool heads will actually switch off. And this makes it so that second nozzle is never going to drag through parts of a print that you've already, already done. Also really good for water-soluble supports or, or snap supports. Does a great job there. So, yeah, all in all. Tough machines, affordable, made in the U.S., just solid all-around printers.